Hello guys, welcome back to James Watch LP Review. Um, Dennis here, I'm actually bringing you another review before I leave to uh, Russia for my holiday from winter break. Um, I figured I'm not going to have time uh, during the week and I'm leaving on Thursday, actually, yeah, Thursday morning. Um, so yeah, I've still got a few exams to write and uh, this is probably the last review for 2009, but nevertheless, uh, season 4 is not over. There's three more beers I'm going to review when I come back, uh, including two good American craft beers. Now this one is from Witchwood Brewery, and it's going to be my fourth beer from the brewery. I've done two reviews, so I've got Goblin and uh, the Fiddler's Elbow, and uh, I've also tried the Goliath, which is another bitter pale ale fan beer. Uh, this one's called Bar Humbug, and as you might know, it's a catchphrase from uh, Charles Dickens' a Christmas Carol. And that's what the protagonist, you know, Ebenezer Scrooge, says um, when he's, you know, he has feelings of disgust or, you know, he's disappointed or angry. Um, actually, the picture, the logo, has a picture of, uh, you know, kind of rendering of Ebenezer Scrooge and the three ghosts of Christmas which haunt him throughout the book. Um, I think the, the new cartoon kind of film is coming out this Christmas with uh, Jim Carrey. They'll be in the main role of the Beniza Scrooge. Um, it's a Christmas time kind of special winter beer. Uh, it's usually about 6% in most markets, but the one we got in Canada, and I brought this bottle from Otto and I went for Halloween, it's about, actually, it's only 5% alcohol by volume, which is a bit low for winter warmers, uh, but nevertheless, it should be you know, quite, quite the same as the one they get in England and other places. Um, it's a 500ml bottle. Um, typical Witchwood kind of interesting, I guess, design. I like those things. And I really like the labelings and everything. Witchwood beers haven't impressed me that much, but they're really good stuff still. Um, winter warmers, to talk about the style briefly. Winter warmers are English ales, which are usually a winter seasonal offering. And uh, they're really high malts and often actually spicy, spiced up. Um, this one has cinnamon in it, other beers can have other types of spice. Um, sometimes you get a bit of a hot bite, but usually it's, it's fairly mild. Um, I guess with the American, you know, American examples of the style, you get some you know, more pronounced hops in some cases. But this one should be quite mild, especially considering it's 5%. Uh, winter warmers range anywhere from about 5, 5.5 to about 8% alcohol by volume usually dark beers and uh, being said that they're good to keep the winter chill out. I'm going to be using my Samuel Smith's fun glass and I'll open the bottle with my um, London Underground Mind the Cap opener keyring. It's a standard Witchwood cap you get the black one um, with a logo, Flying Witch and a broom. Really kind of smelling the spices and a very good malt in it as well. I think everything which would make, um, every beer they make, is at least a decent example of the style, you know. And I've had a bad one. And I really, I'll repeat myself, I really like the labels and designs of the bottles. So yeah, we, we managed to fit the whole thing. Oh yeah, I forgot to read the label, it's pretty brief. It just says, um, brewed with the choicest hops and malt, lightly spiced with cinnamon. This is a rich ale complemented with a subtle note of dried fruit, beer with cinnamon. And that's it. That's all we get. Really. So uh, we've got ourselves a nice, slightly cloudy, um, reddish brown body. A bit of light. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of, you know, ruby red, but quite kind of cloudy, such a brown. Uh, the head is off-white in a beige. I'd say it's kind of rubbing, a bit creamy, but um, not very rich, I guess, because uh, there's not much space for it. Nice uh, brown sugar caramel notes. I can kind of smell the cinnamon, but it's not, you know, it's not overpowering. Very good malt in it. A sweet kind of smell. A bit of a floral background. Um, also reminded me a bit of the double box in terms of smell, a toffeeish kind of aroma. Also maybe um, innocent than 
some different kind of bear, but it's never was. Um, still try. Mm. This is good. It definitely has mm. some nice sp uh, spice in the finish. But it's very balanced. Um, thinking of that winter warmer from Great Lakes review to my friend the Russell style, Russian style, you know, fake comedy kind of review. That one was too spicy. It was just 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 too many, you know, too many uh, spicy notes. You know, this one is uh, more, I think, appropriate to the style. Um, light to medium body, maybe closer to medium. Some nice uh, bready. Uh, feel to it in the, in the finished well. Good lacing. Hmm. Definitely very pleasant um, cinnamon in the background. Um, a bit of dark fruit. Give it plums and raisins, a bit of cherry. Again, it's very, it's, it's mild, but it's not you know, not bland and watery. Definitely very enjoyable. I'm not, I'm not sure how this will perform as a warm, you know, warmer. It's only five percent. I mean, the spices are not going to make a huge difference for you. But nevertheless, it's a very enjoyable beer. We'll get back to you. But I like it. Hmm. I think it's a very tasty and good winter warmer. Being only five percent, uh, it doesn't have enough of that winter. You know, it doesn't give you enough uh, warming sensation. But nevertheless, I think it's a it's a fair shot. I mean, it's still get bits. Um, for warming in, inside of you. Uh, as it warms up, you definitely start tasting that more. But if you drink this uh, cold and if you finish this quickly, you're not going to feel that. Um, as far as the flavor goes, though, that's where it's really strong. Um, nice malts, very good um, you know, toffee caramel kind of uh, notes you get. Hints of uh, dark fruit. I'm tasting some cherry and uh, uh, plum, yeah, prune to plum. Uh, probably even fresher kind of plum. Uh, the cinnamon is very perfect. It's just the, just the right amount of uh, spice. I really prefer that. I much prefer that to uh, the stronger kind of spice it is. Um, and all around, it, you know, it feels like the season. It feels like the holiday season. Really. Uh, certainly good for the weather we get right now. Um, minus something and really strong wind chill. Uh, the winter just started, so I wish I had more of these. Drinkability is good, the mouthfeel is nice and smooth with a bit of crisp carbonation. But again, this is not a very sessionable bit. Not because of the alcohol, it's more because cinnamon might be a bit boring after a while. Um, but you know, if you drink one or two of these, you're going to enjoy this. So um, please do not hesitate if you see this around you, uh, wherever you buy your beer at, um, this holiday season. I think it's very worthy to at least try it once, and it shouldn't be that expensive either. Um, one of the best beers from which we have had so far, I think. So I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 for which we bought Humbug, because it's a very tasty beer. Uh, not the best winter warm, I guess, uh, a bit weak for that, but you know, it's definitely enjoyable and definitely uh, not bland or watery. So that does it for this review, and also I think that's it for this year's load of Games Montreal beer reviews. I wish you all a happy uh, holiday season, whether it is that you celebrate, uh, be it Christmas, um, New Year's, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, which is already started. Um, really appreciate your comments and support throughout the year. Pretty much soon I'll probably celebrate my one year anniversary through these beer reviews. I'm, I believe, I hope, you know, I ho I'm hoping that I improved a fair amount um, throughout the, the year because I started as this kind of noob with uh, much less knowledge and uh, my videos probably suck but um, trying to improve the time trying to explain our balance and so forth really appreciate your comments and uh, good advice you've given me I'm hoping that sometimes I'm helpful as well um, stay tuned for some bonus material actually it's coming in a few moments but yeah wish you all the best and see you guys next year stick to the beer don't do the crap and see you Alright, so this is the beer deck table poster that I won from Chad's Beer Reviews Trivia Challenge. Um, happy you did that. Um, it's a very useful one. Actually, it's it's a lot larger than I thought.
um, it's actually big in reality. It's got most of the beer styles um, known to humankind, and it separates them by lagers and ales in kind of fashion of periodic table. Chad was nice enough to sign this for me. It says, Dennis made his post to help you expand your really impressive knowledge of beer, your friend Chad. Thanks a lot, Chad. Appreciate that, and I'll be using that next season for sure. Cheers.